and I would sing blasphemies against Christ and I would try to make every Christian doubt their faith because I was anti-Christ. That's what these people are. They're anti-Christ. Even the majority of atheists who say, oh, I don't believe in anything. You look at their wall on Facebook, mocking Christianity, mocking Jesus. Oh, you know, and you see it over and over and over. I'm like, this is like me posting the Easter Bunny is not real and I can prove it. Like, why are you wasting time on something that doesn't exist? That looks kind of scary. It's my, kind of scary. It's my uncle. Mm. <laughs> okay, so we're going to be talking about today about Satan. Satan is ruling our world. Have you guys heard uh, Satan in the news or in the movies and the oh, music yeah. industry? He's famous, man. Hollywood <laughs> loves the devil. They make him look like a hero. Yeah. yeah. Right? Uh, they may not say his name. They may not say Satan, mm. but there are many synonyms out there. Sometimes they are blatant about it, though. Yeah, yeah. that's I true. Mean, you got a comic book hero named Hellboy and Lucifer <laughs> and all these mm. things. Yeah, yeah. We're going to be talking about that. But before uh, we're going to go more in details, like, you know, you know, you know movies or, or music and all stuff, I really want to, like, where where Satan come from? You know, because he was Lucifer first, right? Yeah, he was I a mean, good guy. Yeah, he was yeah. a nice guy, right? I mean, he was right there next to God, you know, uh, library, you know, protecting close to God and everything. But he wants to be just like the Bible said, you know, he wants to be like the most high. Mm -hmm. You know, he wants to be putting his strong way up there in the stars. And not in a way like we want to be like God. He wants to take place of God. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah. So he was a Lucifer, right? The uh, the morning star, right? But also when he commits sins, he became Satan, you know, mm -hmm. Satan, the adversary, the the enemy of the souls, mm -hmm. right? I mean, he has lots of different names, uh, Belzebul or, or different names. But interesting that, I mean, you can go through the to the Bible, how Satan uh, working in, in people's lives, things like that. But I just want to come back to 1969, 66, how uh, this guy, uh, Anton Levitt, mm -hmm. you know, in 1969, I mean, he started his satanic Bible, mm. right? And he was very interesting. I mean, can you imagine? I mean, somebody thought that much that he decided like, oh, you know what? To date, I mean, I don't know that he heard the voice or he's like, you know what? I'm going to be writing how it's going to be the fundamental of Satanism. <laughs> Wasn't his dad a preacher, though? That's a good question. I don't know. I, think, I never knew that either. I, th I believe it was. I got to check that out. I'm going to fact check me. But okay. um, I, I would not be surprised because it's probably how he has so much Bible knowledge enough to mm. invert it. Because from what I understand about the Satanic Bible, I've never read it, but it's basically a, a complete inversion. And these people, like, they would get together and and sing hymnals in reverse. Mm. Like, they would sing the words backwards. Which gives it a whole Sounds different like meaning. A lot of effort. <laughs> yeah, well, not you know, not like it does you know either way, but they're not saying the words backwards; they're saying the sentences backwards. Oh. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So, if you say like "God bless you," it'd be like "You bless God" or something. I don't know. Mm. Like sometimes when you say word sentences reverse, it changes the whole meaning to a reversal. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, 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 for sure. And and let me tell you, and the Time Magazine. And I believe it was in 1972. This Time Magazine and the post right there is the, they took the time. I mean, can you imagine that? I mean, Time Magazine took the time. They have an article, it said, in the early 1970s, there was interesting in their, in their cult and America culture. It was so high that Time Magazine devoted a cover story to the topic and a large position of it was focused on Satanism. And the story pointed out the idea of the devil. Wow. So it was too much, you know, the, you know, people were talking, or, you know, uh, groups and, and let's take, how about the, 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 I think it's called the, the, the church of Satan. Right. Mm -hmm. And, uh, so those guys say, you know what, this is in America is growing. Mm -hmm. Like before we don't talk about that, you know, it wasn't taboo, you know, like, Hey, underground things. And, and I'm sure you guys remember like, I mean, you guys, I don't know if you were alive, but in the 80s, it was so famous about 
movies about Satanism, you know, yeah. horror movies. It was very popular in the 80s. Time also highlighted um, the Christian revolution. Right, the Jesus revolution. In the um, Chosen video that we made, Keith really did a good breakdown of revolution versus revival and how mm -hmm. Jesus came not to um, spark a revolt, mm -hmm. but to more have <laughs> it to be a revival. So it's interesting <laughs> that yeah. in this context of the occult, they use the correct word of revival. Yeah, revival. But huh. when it comes to Christianity, they say, no, it's a revolution. It's a revolt. Oh, it's like, oh, wow. no, that's... It's not okay. And it but, is interesting because as Christians, we're the ones that are told is like there's this devil under every rock, and you guys yeah. just want to see the evil and everything. But this got enough recognition that the secular sources had to start talking about it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, which is fine because they're just commenting on society, like mm -hmm. you know, whatever to them. But this is just this this makes Satan look so what's the word obsessed with God, and mm -hmm. it also kind of shows how. God is the one with the blueprint mm -hmm. yeah. because God, what did he do? He inspired men to write his words mm -hmm. and now the devil comes behind and inspired Antel Anton LaVey, Anton LaVey. pronounce yeah. it to, to create the satanic Bible. So that's not surprising mm -hmm. to me that something like that exists. Yeah. yeah. It's like Satan cannot have an original idea. Yeah. It's always like, what does God have? I'm going to pervert it. Exactly. Every time. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it is a, a really interesting song. Very famous. The devil went down to mm. Georgia. <laughs> I remember that. I don't know yeah. if you guys heard that one. I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, <laughs> you're talking about Alaska. Look, his belt buckle <laughs> says Jesus is Lord. Interesting. Oh, yeah. So in 2013, let's count on 10 years ago. 10 years ago. Uh, remember in, in 1969, it was the temple of Satan or the church of Satan, right? Mm. And with Antoine Lavet. The let me tell you, in 2013, 10 years ago, it was the satanic temple. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, there are two different things. You know, a lot of people is like, oh yeah, they're the same guys or whatever. But let me tell you, those guys, they have like more organized system of the church and everything like that. Because let me tell you, they said that uh, our religion doesn't believe in hitting children. And they're like protecting the children. Okay, they have a project. They have a national spoken person for the satanic temple i don't know if you saw this post before but uh those guys they are protecting the safety and hitting the children they must be really nice guys yeah, <laughs> yeah. so is there something in the bible that says to hit your children i mean maybe stoning disobedient children where, where are they even referencing here because they're apparently taking a jab at the bible if they're saying our religion doesn't believe in hitting children probably ripping them out of the womb i'm assuming they mm -hmm. will stand for that but yeah the difference is anton lavey's uh satanic bible people think he's more of a like a troll like this is we we kind of it can be atheist you can be an atheist and have the satanic bible because satan's more like a mascot uh, he believed in freedom and do what you want and that's what we believe mm -hmm. and they don't really worship the devil is what they say but the satanic temple they have church services worshiping the devil and they do their move they're an active movement about getting uh satanic books in schools and all that yeah and we're gonna be talking about that because let me tell you i found out the difference Oh. Of the satanic really? temple, the church of Satan. So in 2013, that was officially recognized. The other one is not recognized, I guess. Uh, Officially recognized as a church as by a the church. IRS. Yeah, exactly. So it's more like, you know, legal stuff or whatever. So you can get a uh, tax exempt. They're, yeah. Wow, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So uh, they believe, you know, the actual Satan, right? Mm -hmm. Both of them. Uh, the satanic temple, they believe in, they don't believe in magic, oh, the black magic. Both of them supposedly don't believe in Satan. Yeah. That's what they say. Huh. And, and the church of Satan, they believe in the magic, the black magic with the K, remember? Mm -hmm. And all those situations, right? And over here on the other side, you can see that they have a regular meetings, you know, like a normal temple, you know? and worshiping everything. I guess the Church of Satan doesn't do that. They have activities. 
you know, public events and all of that. The Church of Safety doesn't have that. <laughs> what is this? Believes that men who prefer blue cheese dressing must be homosexually inclined because of the odor is reminiscent of a locker full of well-worn jack straps. Jack straps. <laughs> what? Right. What? See, the church well, of Satan they don't believe that. that. They don't believe that. The church uh -huh. of Satan believe that. So I have to, I have <laughs> to change what I said because it says belief and and actual Satan. Both of them say they do not believe mm -hmm. that. But the Satanic Temple is super active in trying to bring Satanic stuff into right. the so schools. Right. They don't want to label so it. I guess they don't believe in there being an actual devil, but they believe that all the principles what the devil stands for is yes. what I'm thinking. Fundamentally. Like, uh, they're but back. is like the uh, Freemason organization has levels, it has degrees, and what you're exposed to is dependent on what degree you're at. Is that the same for the Satanic Temple? Because I'm thinking if there's like a lower level <laughs> involvement, mm. they could just be living their lives and mm. have a lot of maybe even the beliefs that we share. Um, mm. It's not until they get higher up in their organization that, you know, things start to change and then they start mocking other religions or what have you. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. we can agree with, we could agree with a Muslim on their dietary mm -hmm. uh, standard, right? But we have a difference in in like our spiritual beliefs. Mm -hmm. So could that be the same with someone who is part of the Satanic Temple, where okay, we have the same standard of like pro life, but in terms of who we serve, there's a difference there. Mm -hmm. Like, is there levels in the Satanic Temple? Are you saying that, that the Satanic Temple is pro-life? Going, go back to the previous slide, based off of the billboard. Like, I'm asking, is this a jab at Christianity? Is this a jab at the Bible? Or this is a political statement? They just happen to be a part of the Satanic Temple. I don't know. But maybe mm. you don't know the context yeah. of the poster. But Yeah, but it's very interesting. Yeah. Just and like, you know, they're people. <laughs> yeah. Like they I have mean, families and things like that. they're people who are just antagonistic towards Christians. And they just mm. know that this is going to be the best way. Because I was like this too, man. I, mm. I didn't believe in the devil or anything. But I was intrigued by witchcraft i went down that road wore pentagrams black funeral polish and and i would sing blasphemies against christ and i would try to make every christian doubt their faith because i was anti-christ that's what these people are they're anti-christ even the majority of atheists who say oh i don't believe in anything you look at their wall on facebook mocking christianity mocking jesus oh you know and you see it over and over and over i'm like this is like me posting the Easter Bunny is not real and I can prove it. Like, why are you wasting time on something that doesn't exist? Mm -hmm. So they're really anti-Christ. And even I've had, I've brought that up to an atheist and he goes, well, I'm more anti-theist than atheist. Um, but what I, reason I brought that up was because the ironic part is, is no matter what drive, no matter what's driving these people, if they're just doing it to jab at Christians and we don't really believe in the devil, they're still mm -hmm. doing the devil's work. Yeah, they're that's a, true. They're a pawn in the game. It's like, I don't believe in the devil at all. I think it's ridiculous, but I want to put this satanic Bible in the school. You're working for the devil. Yeah. I mean, if you're literally, do, you're you're putting Satan's propaganda out there, even though you don't believe in him. So it could be the same in that they don't believe in an actual devil, but they're adhering to those principles. So when they say they're anti-Christ, they may not be anti the deity, so to speak. They're anti the control that they think the deity wants to have over us. Mm. So it's like um, they want to do whatever they want to do. They may not necessarily be up for child sacrifice type thing. That's right. what I'm asking for. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. if there's degrees to this. So the last two, I want to focus on the Baphomet monument. So you, I want to you real pay attention. The Church of Satan, I guess they don't believe that or they don't worship or anything, but the Satanic Temple does. And they have a program that's called After School Satan Club. So mm. I'm going to talk about more about that, but I just want to let you know that in 2015, in the city of Detroit, they put a bronze monument was unveiled by the Satanic Temple. And that was the monument. Was, what we see there. Yeah. I just want to ask you guys, what, what, what we see there? On the statue? Yeah, the statue. Yeah, we have a uh, amalgamation here where mm. you have both goat and human. Two children are looking up to this goat head and it has wings. Oh, yeah. Baphomet has wings? Yeah. Does it? I, I it's guess also first time I'm male and female. Yeah, I huh. guess they don't put the. Is that the, uh, the front. pharmacia? Yeah, the caduceus. Yeah. 
So what I see is, you know, a huge monument, right? So goat. Mm -hmm. And we know, you know, that is Satan, devil, whatever you want to call it. But the thing is that you bring children. Yeah. Okay. That's another level that you put the line. And also what we see right now in society, all those, you know, people that come to the schools and drag queens and, drag and, queens and reading the books and everything. And they, they even show us for children. I mean, that is very disturbing. So, and so bring us a uh, new show and uh, Netflix, uh, the Satanic Temple, because they were, they were filming that. And they say, you know what? Uh, you guys, they put in this bathroom in there. And they say, you're not supposed to be put in there. And they, I think they asked for... Oh, they sued them. They yeah. sued them. Yeah, the Satanic Temple <laughs> sued Netflix <laughs> for putting their statue in a negative light. Do you know if they won? Yeah, they won. They did? Yeah. I mean, so, that's wow. what I heard. This they is won. just B-roll behind them? And they, yeah. they it's just a prop. that it's still this green And they were screen. like, you're misrepresenting. Well, no, it's it's it a, a statue. real statue. It's not the statue. Right. It's a replica. But in the movie, they didn't bring the statue to Hollywood. This is a no. B-roll Oh, yeah, picture. they made their own. Oh, they made their own? Yeah, this is a replica. The replica. What? They spent money and then they got sued for it? Yeah, yeah I know, right? It's oh. like, it's a... I, <laughs> wow. Yeah. Super and so, wait, similarity. this is Sprina the Teenage Witch. That's an old show. No, that put a uh, Netflix made remake. a new one. So, is it done with adventure. Melissa Joan Hart or... No, or, no, no, no. This is Saul way, Geller? It's been, <laughs> it's went a long no, way No, this is from new there. one, maybe like three or four years ago. Well, Sabrina the Teenage Witch was like the candy coat of witchcraft. This yeah. is blatant, blasphemous, open. It's called The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina the Teenage Step Witch. by step, witchcraft. Yeah. It's telling you what to do and all those sacrifices. I mean, the first episode is showing you how Sabrina become a witch. And they tell the whole thing, what they do in the woods and, and everything wow. like that. I'll tell you what, though. If Christians were to sue every time Christianity mm. was misrepresented, Hollywood would have to go bankrupt. Oh, yeah. tell you. That's true. Shut it down. Wow. It's yeah. ridiculous. That's pretty good. So in 2016, okay, seven years ago, it became a nice, this show that nobody really thought about. I mean, come on, mm. a Lucifer. Oh, this was so disturbing. Yeah. It was your first show, right? The plot was and, ridiculous. And they did, uh, I believe it was five or six seasons about it, mm -hmm. since 2016, 2021. And I mean, even Christians, they say, hey, what is the number one show that you watch on Netflix? Mm -hmm. Lucifer. No. I mean, why do you want to see, uh, I mean, as a Christian, what do you guys think? I mean, seriously, uh, to have a show, and, and uh, I really want to see what, yeah. What what is about? Like I want to see what this guy is gonna be, his character or people are curious. Yeah. Curious is the you know, content is the king. Like curious <laughs> is really like maybe the second one. Curiosity. Yeah. Curiosity. Yeah, a lot of times people ask us to expose shows and we mm -hmm. think, oh, something that's you don't expect, like Lego movie. Something like this you wouldn't you wouldn't think needs an expose, but we actually have a video on it because mm -hmm. Keith gathered some information that was actually shocking to me it wasn't it wasn't really details about the show it was the fact that they took the show down and people were hashtagging save lucifer and, wow. and then there was christians that were wanting it to come back yeah i mean a, a self-professed christian kelly clarkson was like i'll pay for the next season to come back wow. that was what was shocking how many people christians were watching it wow yeah. that was in 2016 right and the same year, the Satanic Temple decided, so you know what, let's start this after school Satanic Club. And this is really, this is the, right now the like CEO or the outspoken of uh, the Satanic Temple. And they said, so you know what, let's do that. And I have a video about it so you guys can learn. Well, underneath all of this is a very deliberate political motivation. The East Satan clubs are trying to be provocative. They're not hiding that. And they're trying to use that as a scare tactic to convince school boards and school administrators to not have any after school clubs. Because if you have any of them, then you've got to also include the Satan club. But it all boils down to parental permission. And just underline that in your own mind when you see these things. Uh, for an after-school club to work in a public school, the parents have to give permission to it. So what parent in their right mind is going to give permission to the Satan club uh, that, that you're going to learn how great Satan is? Uh, I, no, it's not going to happen. It's a scare tactic. Let's recognize it for what it is. And in that, don't back off. 
don't say, well, we're not going to have our Bible club or we're not going to have other after school clubs that parents will want their children to go to uh, just because we, we want to keep the Satan club out. You know, prove it to us. If you get parents to sign up, great. If you can't, well, then please go away. The reality is parents are the gatekeepers for all the clubs in schools because you know what? All of them need permission slips signed by parents. So parents hold the power. Parents are the ones that control the Satan clubs because if no children sign up, the Satan club isn't going to exist. So is this still the case? Because now we're hearing that LGBTQ discussions are happening in school without the parents' awareness or approval. So yeah. is this across the board or is this specifically for after school scuts, after school things or clubs. I don't think this is a during school event, so it probably needs yeah. <clears throat> probably needs permission. Oh, to I see. Do it. But if it's within school, school hours, yeah. then yeah, free and, for all. Wow. Um, the, I mean, they're supposed to be learning, you know, like you know, science. They're gonna be learning about, you know, they have a, a nice, be nice, beautiful song, and look at what they, the, the kids learning about this song. Okay. Satan's not an evil guy. By the way, there is. It's a flyer with an eye-catching statement. Hey kids, let's have fun at After School Satan Club. The flyer tells parents their child will learn about benevolence and empathy, critical thinking, problem solving. Hey kids, let's have fun at After School Satan Club. A lot of people have said, is this a hoax? Is this for real? How can a Satan Club even be even realistic. The state of Pennsylvania recently rejected the club in its schools. While Satan clubs have popped up in other states like Illinois and Ohio, it's the first time the idea has found its way to North Carolina. They say it's a kid-friendly club. That's right. Hard to believe, but that's exactly what they preach here. And this is the parental permission slip that they're handing out so your kid can participate. Here's the After School Satan website. They even have a children's book dedicated to this. Now, they say there are some wholesome activities and lessons to be learned, but others believe it has no place around children. Satan's not an evil guy. He wants you to learn and question why. He wants you to have fun and be yourself. And by the way, there is no Science is important, so we understand the world. Satan looks for truth. Let's help him, boys and girls. He'll always treat you equal, whether you're black, white, or gay. When all is said and done, Satan doesn't actually exist. He's an imaginary friend who can teach us how to live. What? Anyone creeped out? No. Okay, so your thoughts, guys. I mean, the reason I'm trying to, you know, bring this show to you guys and to you guys too is the awareness, you know? Like, maybe you didn't hear about this thing. Maybe mm. you, I mean, you have kids or anything like that. But people that have kids, I mean, they're going to a public school. I mean, be careful out there. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You know, and, and I didn't know anything about it since last weekend. You know, I was researching all this stuff, and, and I was like, they have a song? <laughs> and you know the power of music. Mm -hmm. yeah. You memorize it. Yeah. And what is really disturbing you after you watch, I mean, listen to the song, the words. So maybe some words that you're like, what? Everything. I, 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 there's not one thing in there that I wasn't like, oh, yeah, that's normal. It was it was all creepy, mm -hmm. every single part of it, and the weird part was it really didn't have a a chorus. Did it? Did it have a chorus? Mm -hmm. I mean, the one thing they kept saying is there is no hell. Oh, yeah. But um, yeah, it was weird. Yeah, and Whoa. six months ago, I mean, they just decided like, you know what? Let's do this thing to bring it to Virginia, and it's coming to a church. Uh, I mean, it's schools and. Uh, Mikey, you want to say something? I was just going to say they, they mentioned that Satan doesn't treat you different whether you're black, white, or gay. It's true. He hates you no matter what you are. He wants to <laughs> seek, kill, and destroy. Wow. He doesn't discriminate. Mm. Um, whereas God loves everyone exactly. and wants to change your life and give you freedom over mm. sin. And uh, yeah. So they're making a whole club about an imaginary friend, friend who's not real, but these are the things he stands for. It just seems kind Let's of weird. helping to find truth. But yeah, that, that was weird. Because when has yeah. God ever lied? Mm, right. So what is this pursuit of truth that he is 
searching for. One thing that bothers me is that people think Christians don't believe in science. That whole thing oh, yeah. was like, <laughs> look, we believe in science. And mm -hmm. that's what Bill and I had a debate with the guy from Genesis, Answers in Genesis. Ken Ham. Ken, Ken Ham, Ken, yeah. yeah. And, and over and over, like I watched that whole debate and was very disappointed that there wasn't a lot more debate going on. It was like Ken Ham would say something and then Bill and I would say, you know, it's really important that we have scientists and I, I need all these kids to become scientists. And it's like, science is great. Christians believe in it. His whole thing was like, if you're a Christian, you're an imbecile. You, you don't believe in mm -hmm. science. And they just back that same stereotype up too. You know, some things aren't worth researching. Yeah, I'm going to say that. And uh, th when we read scripture and how God just blatantly says, stay away, be set apart. If I got that permission slip in the mail for my kids, it's going in the shredder like that. Yeah. I don't even need to research or see what it's about, find mm -hmm. out if there's a nice, happy song or yeah, anything right. like that. Or, you know, yeah, it what the um news reporter said is so true it's parents that is going to determine mm, exactly. whether this is going to be successful or not and even giving space and time to a discussion and all of that and and making it bigger than it should be yeah. is, is just as harmful and then also like building curiosity and then we see how an association uh lessens discernment it lessens mm. Mm. um what's like um it lessens towards something desensitize yeah, exactly and so oh may, you know maybe maybe it is a nice song or maybe mm. we should you know dissect it or maybe you know hey there's truth right here and yeah. kind of mm. soften you to like you know maybe maybe we should let them go ahead and take part in it and after school i remember it being a fun time i mean if you associate after school with hey play time and learning i remember learning about satan he was a nice guy <laughs> <laughs> wow uh interesting so in 2019 let's jump on another year you know 2019 i remember 2016 i started this lucifer guy you know series on netflix very popular and everything but and now let's talk about uh entertainment actors you know they talk about this thing like hey Thank you, Satan, because mm. he helped me with this and getting Oscars and, you know, stuff like that. And I have this clip from uh, Christian Bell. Thank you to that geezer over there, Adam. He said, he said, uh, he said, I've got to find somebody who can, who can be absolutely charisma free and reviled by everybody. So he went, that's got to be bail in it, you know, thank you. And uh, for all the competition, I will be, uh, corner in the market on uh, charisma free art. what do you think mitch mcconnell next that could be good wouldn't it um uh, thank you to uh, satan for giving me inspiration on how to play this role so it's just you know he's receiving i mean this the, the, a golden globe you know award you know i mean it's not something like hey you know you're in the street and nobody's gonna see you no he's in public you know he's a huge receiving this achievement mm. you know to be the best actor you know of the year but i thought the temple of satan said that satan wasn't real yeah, yeah. So and there's what? always like nervous it? laughter that follows when someone does it you think nervous yeah. laughter is like oh is he being serious or is he joking or no don't don't share our secrets <laughs> right <laughs> like, uh, it, yes it, you'd think they'd just be like yeah that's right you know if somebody says thank you jesus mm. it's not like <laughs> he just thank jesus yeah. it's not a, it's a different response yeah that just shows you that naturally this is not right. If somebody says, thank you, Jesus, there's either going to be silence from some people or applause. There's not going to be like, <laughs> it just doesn't happen. But mm -hmm. when somebody thanks Satan, there is an awkwardness and people laugh out of, they don't know what to, how to react. Fill the space. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's just like, how do you react to that? Yeah. And in the same year also, I mean, uh, the satanic uh, temple, it was like fighting for religious freedom. This is a... I wouldn't call it a gray area, but we have to remember the context in which we live. This is the United States, yeah. so I would never fight to remove their right to mm. practice. I mean, I'm saying practice. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Obviously, there's limitations when it comes to our um, our rights as as individuals. So when I say freedom to practice, if they're harming someone else, that's mm. not okay. But just uh, religious freedom, because once we take it away from them, it's yeah. not going to be too long until it's taken away from us as Christians. So we yeah. need to be careful about that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I just want to remind you guys that, you know, it's a difference, you know, with the, the, the temple, the satanic temple and the church of Satan. 
you know, established in 1966. Uh, they were selling the, you know, those guys before, I mean, it seems like they were doing like a huge, you know, human sacrifice, you know, you know, drinking blood or something like that. But these people supposedly, I haven't been to those, you know, masses or, or ceremonies of the, temp uh, the satanic temple, but they're supposed to be different. And they're fighting for their rights. I said, I mean, they're right there in 2019. Uh, they're outside and the Capitol Hill and just asking for liberty for all mm -hmm. Christianity and Satanism. Yeah. You know, I'm seeing people standing outside of like government buildings and having their stance. And it's just reminding me that, you know, there's voting in this country and depending on the votes that go in that determines our legislation and so have you ever heard someone say oh i'm not christian i'm spiritual yes, right? yes. so they they follow a lot of christian like principles and, and they have that lifestyle but they mm -hmm. don't want that label on them of them being christian well think about that on the flip side how many people live out satan's principles but they don't call themselves satanists mm -hmm. and they vote a certain way and they push mm -hmm. certain agendas mm -hmm. and society follows so it, it is interesting that the Church of Satan might be a lot bigger <laughs> than just those who are in the organization. I think LeBay actually says that. He says that this is how most people live most of the time. Mm -hmm. And i that's True. a direct quote, I think, from something he said. I find it interesting this guy's wearing a Disney character in the form of Satan. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Just uh, interesting. That's a, kind of a good point. Uh, what Anton LeBay said, this is what the majority, that's what, that's what the Bible teaches too. The majority, the broad road is on the road to destruction, the road that's not going to inherit eternal life. So the majority of people, and, and he says, if you're not for me, you're against me. Mm -hmm. So in spiritual black and white Bible terms, anyone who's not a Christian is literally a Satanist. Mm -hmm. I've never seen this before, religious liberty for all, and they have the Christian sign there too. Because Jesus. they're saying, hey, if you get freedom, we get freedom. Make oh, it's the I coexist see. bumper sticker. Yeah. yeah, 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 for sure. Well, what about in 2020? Are we going to be learning more and let the video to play themselves? Ooh, advertisement brings together Ryan Reynolds, Taylor Swift, and Satan. Oh, in the year 2020, personified as a malicious woman. It's an ad for Match.com. Jean Moos explains. Satan has the hots for 2020. They're a match on Match.com, meeting up in Central Park, a bad guy in a bad year. Hi. Two zero, two zero. Please. Call me 2020. The web ad is the brainchild of actor Ryan Reynolds and his production studio. So where are you from? Who? Oh. Me too. The devil is in the details from the WTF in the end zone to Satan refusing to enter a church to this smitten couple taking selfies in front of a dumpster fire. And the soundtrack? Taylor Swift let her friend Ryan Reynolds debut the re-recorded version of her old song. After losing her rights to the original, she's redoing some of them. I've been feeling so alone, I keep waiting. When Satan hooks up with 2020, naturally, they steal toilet paper. The web ad is getting rave reviews, diabolically clever. Winner. Who gives out awards for commercials? Because this one fits 2020 perfectly. It's actually comical, yeah. but what are the ever? What's the advertisement for? Is this just like a, a <laughs> G, like a government campaign ad or something? Oh, match. It's match. Yeah, 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 yeah match. Okay. That's right. Yeah. So an interesting bit. People. I mean, you learn a lot of things when people. The comments of the video. The other one person said, "People love the demonic commercial." But if it was Jesus, there will lots of their minds, sick world that we're living in. Should we do it? Should we do a um, experiment? Little uh, light, yeah. put out a commercial. Yeah. <laughs> Not sacrilegious, of course, with a good message and see how it's accepted. That's yeah, interesting. We'll know how it'd match. Be accepted. Com, Jesus, he's a match for you. He wants to have a, wow. a relationship with you. Exactly. And yeah, that'd be good. And get sued by Match.com. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> because they don't want Jesus or they want wow. Satan. I don't know. Not not saying that's okay. true. So this is a play on yeah. the pandemic, right? What happened yeah, in 22? Yeah. Kind of interesting. Like mm -hmm. I said, you know, I just, 
select that video because I was like, well, you know, I'm gonna say to him, it's not a big deal, you know, it's just a character. But you know, I mean, in your mind, you know how our mind, human minds is like thinking like, you got that picture like, you know, he's a cool guy. You know, yeah. it's a cool guy. Why not? I mean, you know, he goes to the gym. Oh, that's a love story. Yeah, yeah, he's eating a little, you know, paper, you know, then, well, you know, just have a good time. But let me tell you, 2021 show up. 2021 show up. And these rappers mm. say, you know what? I'm going to make a crazy, crazy video, music yeah. video. And I don't need to be showing pictures and everything, but you, we got a video up there in, in Lula Studios. How this guy is dancing. I mean, he giving a dance, uh, a lap dance, a lap dance to the devil. I mean, mm -hmm. to, I mean, who come up with the idea? And these guys say, you know what? Uh, let's promote this. I don't know if he created this thing or he somebody used this guy to promote this tennis shoe. But it's like you know the Satan shoes, you know, with human blood inside the exactly. Bottom. That's What's weird. going on? And they were yes. selling it for how much, Mikey? It was 666. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. It was a lot of money. And, um, yeah. Miley Cyrus was rocking hers. Really? Yeah. It yeah. sold out in a very short time. Yeah, a few yeah. hours Instantly, or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Luke ten eighteen, And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning falling from heaven. Wow. Yeah. So that's 2021. So what's going on in 2022 <laughs> what's going on so let me tell you right here in the state um uh, illinois okay and i this is the capitol hill right and they said that in december they say hey, let's bring this um uh i think it's called chanuka oh hanukkah hanukkah yeah okay I, I, Hanukkah, they celebrate that, and in, in I believe this is a Chanukah. That's Hanukkah. Is it different? No, that's not used by Hanukkah. There's no C in it. I know. Is I that a like, difference uh, between? No. Am I tripping? What What is this? Chanukah. So Chanukah, something else. Yeah. Well, Happy Chanukah. I don't know. I think it was Hanukkah, but mm. but the whole point is that they brought you know they celebrate that, and also you know for Christians you know Christianity. I mean they brought you know the you know Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus you know and stuff like that, but yeah right? it's, this, it's the same thing by the way oh, it's, it's the same, same thing just spelled differently that's yeah. actually the more traditional spelling of Hanukkah oh, okay so they have those you know the nativity. representation yeah nativity and stuff like that right for, for in December because let me tell you that even the satanic temple they brought their decoration decoration yeah, yeah it's a serpent with apples <laughs> and maybe I don't know what kind of bible is that but uh, a science textbook because we oh, have like a science remember yeah so like, this is the they want to bring that too also mm -hmm. so this is just in uh last year what do you think how it's gonna be in five or ten more years i believe this is uh this is actually gonna be swinging back the other way because this is this is amazing what's happening here how we're going so far deep in here but people are gonna yeah. start fighting back and i see that happening today yeah it's it's happening so, so it's interesting because Daniel eleven forty says this: At the time of the end, the king of the south shall attack him, and the king of the north shall come against him like a whirlwind, with chariots, horsemen, and many ships. And he shall enter into the countries, overwhelm them, and pass through. And it goes on and explains that uh, this king of the south and king of the north mm -hmm. that are fighting against each other, these two battle the king of the north. We understand is a religious organization mm -hmm. and uh the king of the south is there's many different interpretations of this but one of them is an atheistic mindset mm -hmm. and so the king of north comes back and and, and smashes it now the religious mm -hmm. system that it's talking about here isn't a good religious system mm -hmm. so it's fascinating to see what's going on right mm -hmm. now because i think we're going to see a pendulum swing yeah well this is like uh you think about the spanish inquisition the roman empire and stuff like that it was like mm. they're killing christians burn throw them in the lion's den burn them at the stake and all that and then it's like nope uh battle of the pope or be burned to death like it swing the other way like they supposedly believe in the bible you weren't allowed to read it but the popes were saying that we believe the bible and if you don't then you get burned at the stake i mean that was an extreme swing the other way the famous phrase you know with the with this with a knife, you know, yeah. deny your faith. 
Mm. You know, you want to kiss the ring? Mm. <laughs> the pop, you know, or you're going to die. Mercy. Yeah. Interesting. Why do you think they do always depict the serpent in its cursed state? I know, right? <laughs> yeah. It doesn't have, it's in its cursed state instead of pre cursed. It was cursed to crawl on his belly. So yeah. he either had legs or wings or something. I was just kind of thinking about it because, you know, the nativity is like the the birth of Christ, you know? Mm -hmm. So I was thinking about satanic, you know, Satan, what it was the birth, you know? <laughs> I mean, well, okay, maybe the, the when the sin came to the world, you know, they put the... Yeah, they're bringing, that, the, they're bringing the Genesis thinking, story here. Yeah, yeah, kind of like, hey, you want to tell the story again? Mm -hmm. In 2023, here we go. That's today. This year in 2023. And remember, when it started the temple, Satanic Temple, it was in 2013. So 10 years later, Satanic Temple now it says, you know what? Now we are an organization, we have a spoken person, we can do after school, and we had this and we got that. And now they have convention, yeah. but worldwide. And it was celebrating this year. Well, it's going to be a busy weekend. Hundreds of members of the Satanic Temple will be in Boston this weekend for a convention. And as WBZ's Anna Myler tells us, some are not thrilled by that. The sold-out event is starting today, and it's happening all weekend here at the Marriott in Boston. And a counter event is planned in response. People are arriving in Boston from all over to attend what's expected to be the largest satanic gathering in history. It's about supporting human rights. It's about supporting women's bodily autonomy. It's about freedom of religion, freedom from religion. The event marks the 10 year anniversary for the Satanic Temple and will include satanic rituals, entertainment, and discussion panels. I understand the confusion, the fear. I, I really do, but at the same time, we're a very misunderstood group. Organizers are dedicating Satan Con to Boston Mayor Michelle Wu because the group was not allowed to deliver a satanic invocation at City Hall last Last year. The mayor's office says neither Mayor Wu nor the city of Boston are sponsoring or affiliated with Satan Con 2023. Mayor Wu will be out of town this weekend. A truck with a Christian Action Network billboard is parked outside the Marriott, and a Christian event called Revive Boston is happening this weekend in response. Satan's a deceiver, so anything other than Jesus is not the truth. So I, I feel bad for these people. Organizers with the Satanic Temple say they do not believe in Satan, but rather push for the separation of church and state, and that their mission is to encourage empathy among all. Most don't believe in Satan, not a literal Satan. Um, it's not It's not some 1980s horror film. I think it's a little odd, but... Um, they've been very hospitable to people. A woman staying at the Marriott for a medical convention says she is relieved she's heading home today. I just think that people's opinions are going to get out of hand, and, and I hope it doesn't. It's growing this, you know, the witchcraft and uh, satanic temple philosophy and all that stuff. Why me... that logo? Why, why Satan? If you don't believe in Satan, why not use like a DNA strand and say we're human and we believe in human rights and freedom, <clears throat> freedom and all these things like we, we probably have a lot of similar beliefs. We believe in separation of church and state. You shouldn't mm -hmm. have the, the state ruling church and and saying, you know, we, we believe in freedom. We believe in freedom of religion. But why use Satan as a mascot if you don't believe in him? Believe in you believe in science? Cool. Make your logo a test tube. Mm. I just don't understand. You know how how do they not see that they're being deceived by the devil? I don't think they know the scriptures. I think ugh, people are lost in lack of knowledge, and unless they are just hey, I I could care less about being here, which I think few are. Most people just don't know. They don't mm. know what they're doing. Yeah. I, I truly believe that. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. Forgive them, Father. They know not what they do. They've been blinded by the God of this world. And then... yeah. So I just want to mention something that, you know, it's been growing a lot. Uh, I mean, I, you know, researching this thing and it's like, you know, people making a million dollar tarot cards reading business. Why? Because it's a demand. Mm. People, you know, making, I mean, this thing about, you know, uh, you know, occultism and everything is growing very, very fast. And 2023 is like huge. And what I'm going to focus right now is about 
how when you see things you know on tv entertainment music repetition i mean you will learn you know even we make a video about this thing or reaction video when this uh billy irish no eilish eilish uh she did this um uh, I think was the video was revealing in that time. I mean, you guys, uh, we all need some good girls go all to the hell. Good girls go to hell. And, and seriously, and, about climate change. Yeah, and I mean, she said that, that God is is is, is a is a girl. And it's a lot of things in that. My Lucifer is lonely. Oh, yeah, I mean, okay. it's, it's, was it her or Ariana Grande? No, her too. Okay. Let me tell you what happened if a children watching this kind of stuff. Do you think they're gonna copy that? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking of before. Right before you went to this slide, mm -hmm. and you said the occult is growing. I was gonna say I blame Hollywood, and then boom, here it is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's you know, and I have a video right now, and when I see these clips, seriously, that really it hurts me because I'm a father, mm -hmm. and I have two girls, and I see how children's just watching this, these kind of you know, darkness. It just just make me so upset to watch this. Keep walking straight, Mark. Keep your lights. All the good girls go. Okay, take the a little step, tiny step, very slow, tiny step. Even got herself. And another one. And another one. And another one. And once another the one. Another 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 so what do you think? The children now they observing this, <laughs> it's like nowhere. And now right. the parents say, uh, I mean, maybe the girl, I mean, maybe she doesn't know what's going. On. You see that? I want to do this, and maybe the parents are like, no, what are you talking about? I mean, you don't need to do that. But no, the parents say, no, I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna do this. It's a challenge. And how mm. fun and everything. But let me tell you, I went to this. The girl has a YouTube channel and doing all this stuff about this, uh, you know, singer and doing a lot of things of duplicating from um, like doing covers of people's music yeah wow and i'm like wow shocking mm -hmm. and she is and i'm gonna play with you guys i don't know if you want to share this thing but i just want to share how raw it can be a little kid five years old go to this concert
Billy Arges. Lyrics up there, I can't tell what's. I'm a bad on. guy. Yeah. I mean, I don't know the lyrics of the song, but that's what she said at the end. Oh, is it? So the sad part is, is you know, what if these parents become a Christian and they're and they've oh. trained their children to sing about Lucifer, to dress up like a fallen angel, and like imagine the regret in their heart when they're like, we spent time, money, effort to to do this like i just can't imagine the type of regret that we're feeling and and not only that but there's multiple levels of deception going on here because number one satan doesn't look like this right he doesn't even look like he doesn't have black wings he doesn't he doesn't pretend to be something that looks terrible that has blood mm -hmm. coming from whatever i mean he's a beautiful angel yeah. and so now they're not only deceived into pushing his message but they're deceived in what he looks like this the we must look really dumb yeah. <laughs> to the rest of the universe. Yep. Uh, nothing is experience. nothing is inappropriate anymore. Yeah. Absolutely nothing. Nothing when it comes to sexuality. Nothing in terms of darkness. Mm. Like from birth, hair is it? Hair is yeah. all everything, and you just kind of figure it out. I mean, life in and of itself is difficult and confusing as it mm. is, and then you throw on all these things that is premature for mm -hmm. a child to even understand talking about gender talking about you know life these different mm -hmm. lifestyles and so this is just this is amazing her knowing the lyrics and screaming out the lyrics but having absolutely no idea what she's what she's saying and how that's affecting her behavior yeah. and the people who are in charge of her, her parents are just like well here you go supportive of it yeah i mean to me it's just insane how a five six years old go to those kind of concerts just see the the, the 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 CD cover, like uh, Billy Irish. I mean, yeah, she's like looks just like yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like what's going on? And I just want to share with you guys because I was like, this is raw and, and need to be addressed. Like, please don't put this thing to your children. Mm -hmm. This is so sad. The beautiful promise. I'm gonna end it this. If you if you like really into about evil things or or you're not in the church or you're not practicing practicing Christianity. The promise is, is that in Proverbs 22, 6, it says, train up your child in the way you should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. Amen. So I just want to end it with this, with this beautiful promise. You know, it's not something like, okay, you really must up in your years or something like mm. that. It's not hope for you. Mm. But indeed, it's, it's hope because Jesus died on the cross for our sins. And the great hope is that he's coming yeah. back soon yeah. yeah i love that verse because it says when he is old he will not depart from it mm. it doesn't say that they won't ever go astray you know mm. but if you never lay that foundation basically this road away from god it has one one destination it's always going to be death and destruction hopelessness emptiness because we're all god created us all with a vacuum for him and so we're trying to this makes me happy for a season. This makes me happy. Drugs, sex, mm. alcohol, all these things. They make me feel good for a moment. Mm. But all those ultimately bring you to hopelessness. Drugs, you, you become sober again. You have to do addiction, all these things. But what if someone was never trained up? They keep tr choosing all these paths. And now I can't say they'll never find it because thank God there's still missionaries and churches and things like that. But... When you train up a child, that's always going to be their foundation. Even if they stray away, yeah. well, I want to try this. I want to try that. I want to try that. Once everything's hopeless, it's like, maybe my parents were right. Hmm. It worked for them. Maybe I'll give it a shot. And then they're ready. And that's the way it was for me. My parents trained me up. I went way astray. But when everything was hopeless and empty, I said, you know what? I never really got, gave God a chance. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this. And that's that's where I found the truth. Mm -hmm. So train up a child because you gotta give them a foundation to come back to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this LED live. Uh, please uh, share this link with your friends and families and I know they're gonna be blessed. And also uh, support these, uh, this ministry, Little Life Studios, uh, to make more shows like this. 
you know thanks so much for your donation check the the description of this video with the links uh if you want to uh have these nice shirts in in, in spanish in english and maybe to start a conversation too you know uh thanks so much for your support and don't forget to like this video because that helps to share this video and all over the world thanks so much and we'll see you bye next time. There has been very few movies in the history of the world that have completely changed our world. And in 1999, a movie titled The Matrix hit the world stage. These stories are often told and seen over and over again. Is it simply just to make money? Or is there something more nefarious behind it?